Welcome to this session friends, my name is Yogesh. In this session we are going to discuss on pseudo replay. So little bit about pseudo replay. Pseudo replay plays back or lists the output logs created by pseudo. When replaying, pseudo replay can play the session back in real time, which means actual speed or you can adjust the playback speed. You can uh, make it faster, you can make it slower, up to you, whatever command line options you choose at that time. Next thing friends, uh, what are the benefits of using pseudo replay? So it, with, in my personal experience, being a system admin, like a system admin getting approached from application team or database team that we need root equivalent rights to run our application or we are performing some upgrade or installation, we need root equivalent rights or some user want to get uh, rights to run a couple of commands as different user. So on those scenarios, you want to monitor the activity. If user is running commands, uh, whatever authorized or he's not running risky commands or in case you gave him whole root equivalent right. So this utility can be helpful for a system admin such scenarios. So next thing, how this utility gets installed or what other steps need to be performed? Friends, this utility is part of default pseudo package only thing. It is not enabled by default. To enable it, you have to add uh, these three lines, default log output, default bin pseudo replay log output, then sudo has been reboot log output. In your sudoers file, in Linux, default file is etc sudoers. If you are running Solaris uh, or AIX or HP Unix, file may differ, but uh, I believe uh, this is the standard path with the new sudo version on all platforms. By default, all logs will get saved to var logs sudo io directory. If you want to change, there are tuning options. That's up to you. How to record sudo sessions? So friends, once you enable the sudo replay config in uh, your etc sudoers file or your sudo configuration file, next thing, whenever user run any sudo command, it will automatically get logged. To list out all sudo replay sessions, simply run sudo replay followed by dash l. If you want to play a session, again sudo replay followed by tsid. Friends, tsid here, when I run sudo replay dash l to list out the session, this is a tsid displayed. So simply I have to sudo replay followed by tsid, press enter. Session will be replayed uh, in real time. If you want to pause it, simply press space. If you want to lower the speed, press less than symbol. If you want to speed up or double the speed, just press greater than symbol. So let's begin to technical session friends where I can show you about uh, this utility. So here I open two sessions. One is as root user, second session is as lab user on same server. So let me enable sudo replay. First, let me show whether log file or log directory existing or not. This is the log directory which is not existing as of now. So what I'm going to do friends, I'm going to do sudo replay configuration. I'm using vi sudo friends. Uh, one thing, always use vi sudo when you're editing sudo's file. Don't use vim or vi because you may leave any syntax error which may cause any other issue. And debugging is difficult in such cases. So vi sudo, I am adding this data and file. If you see, I have added, I have enabled, this is only comment. I have added these three lines. Always put comment whenever you are editing something. So that next time if you are doing uh, auditing, you can easily learn why these lines were added. And friends, uh, this is my lab user. I gave uh, this user root equivalent right. It can run any command as any user on this system. I'm just saving this file. Okay, so I have enabled the sudo replay configuration. Let me list out whether this particular log directory exists or not. So as of now, this directory not existing. And I'm jumping to other session where lab user is logged in. So let me become root here or let me list out what I can do. sudo minus l. Here, if you see, here it is showing sudo replay configuration is enabled. 
and I can run any command as lab user. So I'm just switching sudo su minus. I become root. Here I'm running a couple of commands df minus h, if config minus a, and I'm pausing for a couple of seconds. Okay, now I'm doing cat to etc password. I'm doing some work which I'm not supposed to do. I'm cat cutting my etc shadow file. Okay, so I run this command. Okay. And I am quitting from that pseudo session now. Exit. Okay, so friend, that session ended. Now I am jumping back to root user. Okay, let me check whether this directory is existing or not. If you see this directory got automatically created because as I said, once first time any user use pseudo session after enabling pseudo replay, this directory will automatically get created. Okay. So friends, to list out the session sudo replay followed by a dash l. As of now, we got only one session. Here, this particular user, lab user, sorry, lab user on this particular TTY. This was the home directory. That user became root. And this is a TS ID, which is your sudo replay session ID. And that user used sudo bin su dash command to become root. So friends, if we want to play that session, I'm just copying this session ID. I'm running sudo replay followed by TS ID. Pressing enter. Now I'm doing nothing. So it will display all commands which uh, user run in real time manner. If you want to pause, you can press space key. If you want to lower or uh, faster the things, just use arrow keys as I discussed in lab session or uh, theoretical session. So see friends, you can play all the things in real time. That's a benefit of using sudo replay. Okay. So here, let me show you content of uh, sudo log directory. Okay. So friends, these are the files uh, which contains all the information. And this is a timing, real time timing which is uh, at which speed session is getting displayed or replayed. Let me show you one more thing, sudo replay, I'm just listing session again. Here, TS ID is 00, 00, 00, 001. If you see here, this particular directory is 00, 00, 00, 001. So that's the same. When you launch next session, when user launch next sudo session, a new directory will be created after 01, it will be 02 which will be having similar files. For security reason, friends, uh, always make sure these files are root owned, which is default. If you see all files are owned by root. Other things, always take a backup of your sudo log directory. If you got some log shipping mechanism, make sure you are getting backup of this directory very frequently. That's for security reasons. I believe this session will be helpful for you friends. If you have any question or any suggestion, just post a comment on my YouTube channel. If you like this video, just uh, hit like button. If you have uh, any other opinion or uh, you want uh, some more detail, just leave a comment. I will try to reply on that as soon as possible. Thanks a lot friends.